Hey guys, it's Will from Tested. I'm here at World Maker Fair in New York City. It is uh, exciting. We're with the Liquidware booth, and these guys uh, these guys do something that I think is pretty neat. Uh, uh, Mike, can you tell me uh, what exactly it is the, the Liquidware boards do? Sure. Uh, a lot of what we build is quick prototype electronics. So a lot of these boards that we have down here are designed with the idea that you can quickly get to a prototype, quickly build a screen and a battery board, you know, build a custom tablet, build a custom um, GUI interface uh, for your project. So, so what you're essentially selling, or one of the things among among many, is a, is a is an Android or Linux tablet with your choice. Yep. That's that's without guts and shell and proprietary OS or any of that stuff. Yeah, that's right. Um, that's this this amber here, and a lot of this was designed around the idea that you know a Kindle Fire or an iPad isn't always a good solution to hack. You know, sometimes you just need a custom tablet for your project, and it doesn't really exist. Uh, so that's kind of why we built we built this was so that somebody could easily create a custom tablet, build your own case for it, um, build your own custom. Here's an example of that right here. Um, but you could build your own custom enclosure and your own custom GUI for your project. So if you're building, say, a robot or something like that, you wanted to have a screen where you can control it. This is perfect for that. Yeah, absolutely. And you could just uh, this actually has a Wi-Fi card on the back. Um, you could put in like a USB, Bluetooth. You know, and connect to your robot that way. That would be so certainly something you could do with it. So, tell me a little bit about, about the hardware and the tablet. What is the tablet called, actually? It's called uh, Amber. And and, <laughs> oh, and what's the hardware like inside? It has a one gigahertz uh, OMAP processor. And so, oh, it's, go ahead. It's an ARM processor. And so you can run. Uh, you said Android or Linux on it? Yeah, this one here is running Android uh, 2.3, and we do have a version running Android 2.1, but we also have another version with uh, Linux Angstrom on it. Um, so we do have a bunch of different, a bunch of different configurations depending on you know what you might need for your project. And and uh, do you guys provide a custom Android kernel for this, or is it something that people have to go out and kind of roll their own? Uh, no, we pr we sell it with a custom um, Android kernel with all the drivers built in, uh, everything like that. But then, if you want to run Linux on it, you can do that as well. If you want a little bit more control, right? Yep, that's right. We have all the drivers uh, for the Linux stuff is all available um, on our website through the, the GitHub repositories there. So you gotta find a lot of it there. So, what kind of projects do you see people using these these things for? A lot of projects are like either researchers or somebody that wants a tablet but just wants to be able to collect, connect to the I2C line, connect to the serial bus or the USB a little bit better. Um, so a lot of people are doing doing that, you know, where they can make a handle on their tablet, um, just really custom stuff. So for like, so they can get direct feed from instruments and stuff like that into the machine. Yep, that's right. So there's like a lot of. Um, a lot of different things where you just want to really get in there and hack it, and um, it's not easy to do when you have like uh, an already built kernel or, or something that's just not hackable, like an iPad. A lightning connector, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so tell me a little bit about the Arduino shields, because you do some cool touchscreen stuff with Arduino as well. Yeah, sure. Uh, this here is a touch shield slide, um, and you mount it right on top of the uh, Arduino here, and you just program this right through the Arduino IDE. So you, uh, here's just uh, the touch screen here. But I made this program, you just write draw pixel, X location, Y location, a color in the IDE, and you can easily just draw stuff on the screen. So here's just that, uh, an example of that there. But that's an OLED display. Awesome, so, so it's, a, it's another way you can interface. I mean, you can use the, the, pro, the tablet as the host and, and use the Arduino to control other stuff, like a touch screen or, or whatever, basically. Yeah, I mean, you can, you, can, you can interchange them. We have drivers, so you could use the Arduino, and then send sensor data to your tablet. Um, all kinds of different projects people people do with it. So fantastic! Thank you so much, Mike. And if people want to know more, uh, what's your website? Uh, www.liquidware.com. Fantastic! Thank you, sir. We'll be back with more from World Maker Fair. I'm Will. See you guys later.